Greetings, I'm Memphis' first independent feature filmmaker, Anthony Amp Elmore. I am sending this video to many of our elected officials who represent Memphis and Chevy County. I wrote, produced, directed, narrated, and edited the first film regarding our black Memphis history, titled 200 Years of Black Memphis History. We need black filmmakers to document and tell black Memphis history or black Memphians history will go unknown and untold. In the late 1960s, Memphis stars emerged out of the darkness, whereas we had a sunrise of courageous young black men who emerged and called themselves the invaders. On March 25th, 2023, the sun set on one of the horizon of Memphis' brightest stars who had emerged back into the cosmos. And if you look into the stars and you see a sparkle, our star is winking. There is an amazing story about this star who chose to come as a common mortal who adopted a common mortal's name. The brothers call him Wine. He got the name Sweet Willie Wine and he later evolved to become Minister Sukura Yahweh. Minister Sukura Abdul Yahweh's life is part of the unknown and untold Black Memphis history. If it is not for black filmmakers, his story and life perhaps would go untold. This story is titled, From Sweet Willie Wine to Minister Yahweh Divine. On March 21st, 2023, the man known as Lance Sweet Willie Wine Watson, who later changed his name to Sakul Yahweh, made the natural transition from life to death. Many people come upon the planet and do not leave a legacy. It is because of Memphis white supremacy, racism, and black-on-black -black racism that Minister Sakura Yahweh, a.k.a. Lance Sweet Willie Wine Watson, is not revered and honored in Memphis, Tennessee, where his story is honored and told is in Arkansas, whereas in 1969, Sweet Willie Wine Watson made the four-day historic journey and courageous walk from West Memphis, Arkansas to Little Rock, Arkansas, where even he was beaten by angry whites. See, the nation's attention focused where he brought attention to racial justice, racial injustice, and inspired black youth to fight, even if it meant losing your life. He walked from West Memphis, Arkansas to Little Rock, and when he would reach towns, a few courageous people would offer food and water, and some would march with him. Even a few good-natured white people supported his courageous march for courage. Look at this United Press International photo where he was even stabbed and beaten by angry whites where they charged him with disorderly conduct by just making a peaceful march to inspire blacks in Arkansas to stand up against injustice. There is an unknown and untold story as to how Sweet Willie Wine became Minister Sakura Yahweh. Anthony Amp Elmore is one of the few people living who know the story. You see, in 1972, after the killing of Dr. King, a movement happened in Memphis called MAN. It was an acronym for Making a Nation, headed by the charismatic mesmerizing Dr. King aide, Reverend James Bevel. If it was not for Reverend James Bevel, Dr. Martin Luther King would not have achieved the success 
he achieved in America. Not only was the civil rights leader Fanny Lou Hamer motivated by James Bevel, it was James Bevel who organized in 1963 the Children's Crusade that actually defeated Bull Connor in Alabama, whereas 2,000 children marched across Birmingham, Alabama to fight against racial inequality. In 1965, the historic Montgomery, Selma to Montgomery March, where just recently President Biden honored John Lewis and the Bloody Sunday, this march was the brainchild of Reverend James Bevel. In fact, in 1972, Anthony F. Elmore quit college and joined the Bevel movement. And there was Sweet Willie Wine, who became a disciple of Reverend James Bevel that led to the transformation from Sweet Willie Wine to Minister Sakuro Yahweh. In 1972, Elmore traveled to Gary Anna with James Bevel Whereas he, along with then Sweet Willie Wine and others, were delegates at the first black political convention in Gary and Anna. While Elmore took a different path from Bevel, much of who became Minister Curry Yahweh is influenced by Reverend James Bevel. Perhaps the last recorded interview of Minister Curry Yahweh happened at the home of Anthony Elmore. Oh. Minister Yahweh, yes, uh, let's get you on camera. I'm talking to Minister uh, Shakura, is that Shakura? Shakura. Yahweh, who is AKA Sweet Willie Wine. You, what do you think here? You, you at the African house, how do you feel here? Oh, uh, very, very comfortable and very excited. Yeah, how old are you, how old are you? I'll be 84 August 19th. <laughs> you know, so um, Coach, I made Esquire magazine. Uh, um, artists came and drew a picture of me. It's in the December um, edition of the of the uh, Esquire magazine, and uh, you can find the history there. Uh, Resurrection City, Washington Post, and etc. Uh, over a period of time, I've been in. Uh, a lot of newspapers and magazines. Uh, this should be a, a magazine called the Jet Magazine that was out. I was in it about six times. Um, some of my pictures and sometimes it would be a quote that I have, would have said, such as, if I stop, push me. If I fall down, pick me up. But if I turn around, kill me. So, you know, th those show up, those kind of quotes would show up in Jet as a period of time go by. Um, you can find my history in quite a few places. You can go on your in on your internet, look at Sweet Willie Wine, and you can also go on your telephone. Um, it's a lot of history in Memphis, also uh, in the different libraries, Library of Congress. You can check that out in uh, for this 1969. Why do I want to be remembered? Oh, well. I would like to be remembered. Um, even the transformation from Sweet Willie Wine to Minister Sakura Yahweh, I would like to be remembered for that. I would like to be remembered based on the fact that the history of Sweet Willie Wine, what he was going through in his transformation, based on what he ended in, and his conclusion in life, you see. And I mean, you know, there's, there's many, even in the Bible, guys who were uh, doing certain things and they have an epiphany and they change it. And uh, I know what that means personally. Um, and I think that too um, will give, yeah, will give people who may read about it and et cetera, even though you may be who you are or what you're doing, you can't always, if you put your life to it and your mind to it, and you can make, make changes.